Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy in us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Come as to pardon us our transgressions. O holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication, give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited in the night, thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men, for the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept thy ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy paths, that my steps might not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, and climbed thine ear unto me, and hearkened unto my words. Let thy mercies be made wonderful, O thou that savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thine eye. In the shelter of thy wings will thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. Mine enemies have surrounded my soul. They have enclosed themselves with their own fat. Their mouth hath spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encircled me. They have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as might a lion ready for his prey, and as a mighty, mighty lion's wealth that dwelleth in hiding. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, thy sword from the enemy of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few do thou separate them from the earth and their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures hath their belly been filled. Thou hast satisfied themselves with swine, <clears throat> and have left the remnants to their babes. But as for me, in, my, in righteousness shall I appear before thy face. I shall be filled when thy glory is made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, let none that wait on me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, known unto me, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth, and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. For on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not according to thy mercy. Remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that send on the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is a man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he it is that will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon mine enemies, for they are multiplied, and with unjust hatred have they aided me. Keep my soul and rescue me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have hope in thee. The innocent and the upright cleaved unto me, O Lord, for I would, not, <clears throat> for I would only, O Lord. Redeem it, O God, Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and none this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, thou hast made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear of joy and gladness, the bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. 
Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I had given it. With over an offering, thou should not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled. God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, oblation, and over an offerings. Then shall an offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us, the faithful, praise and worship the word, co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born for our salvation from the Virgin, for he will to be lifted up on the cross in the flesh, to endure death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine who hast budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with thy holy apostles, that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day, the God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, give us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> Thou didst descend into hell, O my Savior, shattering its gates as Almighty, resurrecting the dead as Creator, and destroying the sting of death. Thou hast delivered Adam from the curse, O lover of man, and we cry to thee, O Lord, save us. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest to just and showest mercy upon a sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by them. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master, 
our God, Almighty Father, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, one Godhead and one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou hast established, save me, thine unworthy servant, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. O God, in thy name save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, hear, hear unto the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not said God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon mine enemies, utterly destroy them by the truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee, I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain not my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled at the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner, because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling have come upon me, and darkness hath gotten me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lord, I fled afar off and dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saveth me from faint heartedness and from tempests. Plunge them into the depths, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gain, saying in the city, Day and night they go round about upon her walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her speech. For if mine enemy hath revived me, I might have endured it. And if he that hateth me had spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, a man of life, so with me, my guide and my familiar friend. Thou who together with me didst sweep my repast. In the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down alive into Hades. For wickedness is in the dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me, unto God have I cried, and the Lord hearken unto me. Evening, morning, and noonday will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them that draw an eye unto me, for they among many were with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, he that is before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of the countenance, and their hearts have convened. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken, but thou, O God, shalt bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters, and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shalt thou have hope. <clears throat> With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap in the demon, demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners, for thou, O Lord of my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Upon the ass and basculus shalt thou tread, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon. For he hath set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us, the faithful, praise and worship the word, co-eternal with the Father and the Spirit, born for our salvation from the Virgin, and he will to be lifted up on the cross in the flesh, to endure death and to raise the dead by his glorious resurrection. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant victories to the Orthodox Christians over their adversaries, and by virtue of thy cross, preserve thy habitation. <clears throat> now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
as we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee. For much more is the prayer of her mother able to incline the master into kind-heartedness, despise not the supplications of sinners, O all pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassion quickly go before us, O Lord, for we have become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O all holy trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. As thou was voluntarily raised upon the cross for our sake, Grant mercy to those who are called by the name of Christ God. Make all Orthodox Christians glad by thy power, granting them victories over their adversaries by bestowing on them the invincible trophy, thy weapon of peace. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth earth worship and glorify, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Compass us about with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by them. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gave us birth to God the Word. Truth, the Atogos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen, O God and Lord of hosts, and maker of all things created, who through the tender hearted compassion of thine incomparable mercy did send thy own and only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our race, and by his precious cross didst destroy the handwriting of our sins, and didst thereby <coughs> triumph over the origin and powers of darkness. Do thou the same, Lord, who lovest mankind, receive also these thanksgivings and fervent prayers of a sinner. And deliver us from every harmful and gloomy transgression, and from all enemies, both visible and invisible, who seek after us to destroy us. May all our flesh with the fear of thee, and incline not our hearts to words and thoughts of wickedness, but wound our souls with the love of thee, that looking ever unto thee, and guided by thee in the light, beholding thee, the light ineffable and everlasting, we may ascribe unto thee ceaseless confession and thanksgiving. Unto the original Father, together with thine only begotten Son, and thine all holy good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray 
Savior and Creator, Him who on the tree of the cross budded forth life for our race, and caused the curse which originated from the tree to wither off. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Blessed are you, and men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say a manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. By thy death hast thou destroyed the power of death, O Christ, and thou didst raise up with thyself the dead of ages past, who now in thee is our true God and Savior. Remember us, O Lord, when thou comest in thy kingdom. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Arriving at thy tomb, O Christ, the honorable women sought to O bestower of life, but an angel appeared to them, crying out, The Lord is risen.
up, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
her son and sent out his servant to call those who were invited to the wedding, and they were not willing to come. Again he sent out other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, See that I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and fatted cattle are killed, and all things are ready come to the wedding. But they made light of it and went their way, one to his own farm, another to his business, and the rest seized the servants, treated them spitefully, and killed them. But when the king heard about it, he was furious, and he sent out his armies, destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. And he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy. Therefore go out into the highways, and as many as you find, invite them to the wedding. So these servants went out into the highways and gathered together all whom they had found, both the bad and the good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came to see the guests, he saw a man there who did not have a wedding garment. So he said to him, Friend, how did you come here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to his servants, Find him hand and foot, take him away, and cast him into darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. At that time, Jesus strictly warned his disciples, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's sake will save it. For what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and yet loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whatever is, whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, My surely I say to you that there will be some standing here who will not taste death till they see the kingdom of God present in power. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. He is and ever shall be. past Tuesday, we celebrated the great feast of the exaltation of the cross, which is why we have a beautiful flower cross in the back of the church. And the feast commemorates when uh, Helena, Constantine's mother, found the cross in Jerusalem, and the patriarch Sophronius uh, uh, raised it up on high. And this is around the time of the the founding of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. But this feast, which celebrates that specific happening, for us also has a deeper meaning because of all the gospel readings and the epistle readings that surround it, the week of celebrations, which focus on the meaning of the cross in our lives. And you heard in today's second gospel, that if we desire to follow after, Jesus, follow after Jesus, we have to take up our cross and follow him. That if we desire to save our lives, we will lose them. And if we desire to save our lives, if we, desire, if we are willing to lose our lives, we will save them. Now this can be a little bit confusing to say you have to lose your life to save it. What exactly is Jesus talking about when he says... Losing your life. And what does he mean when he talks about if we're willing to give up our life, that we will be able to follow him and save it? Well, in the rest of the scripture, there's this notion that you and I, and that every human being, has this self willed. That in the fall, we became motivated 
by our own sort of selfish egoism. The things that I want, the things that I desire, the way that I think things should be. And that we really, in many ways, try to create a kingdom, our own kingdom, to protect us from a world that's always in some sort of crisis. Because, as you know, we're all going to die. And so, for it, and so it makes sense, knowing that we're going to die, knowing that we can't take anything to, to the grave with us, it makes sense to insulate ourselves from death. To insulate ourselves from death with material. By having a lot of clothes. Because we know that we don't want to be naked and cold. By having a lot of food because we know we don't want to starve. By having material because we know that the boys with the biggest toys win. That used to be a bumper sticker, I think. <laughs> or any derivation of that, that concept. Those are the material means of insulating our souls from death. There's also what I would say is an existential meaning, a deep inner fear of death. That deep inner fear of death would be manifested in our development of a persona or an ego, how we want others to perceive us in the world. The things that we do to make sure that other people look at us and honor us, respect us, look up to us. The things that give us a sense of assurance and being in the communities that we exist in. For some of us, this may be wealth, which although it's a material thing, is also a status. For some of us, it may be simply our place in the world, our job, the way we've made, how we've turned, made ourselves. For some of us, it's our identity as self-made or our identity. And even nowadays, many people take on many different identities and they cling on them. And these, all these things are those things that we would call in many ways life. But they're the life of the flesh. They're the life of the fall. They're the life of our brokenness. To have to insulate ourselves from death. That is the thing that we're meant to deny. When we pick up our cross. Now mind you, when Jesus was speaking this and saying, Take up your cross and follow me. This was not a romantic thing for the people who heard this. <clears throat> In Jesus' time, of course, they would be aware, being under Roman rule, of what that looked like. What it looked like for someone to carry that beam on their back and to go up to be, only to be crucified. The bloody mess of it. The absolute depressing and shockingness of it. A human being carrying something that is probably too heavy so that he can go and be killed as punishment. So in the early church, they would have been fully aware of this image and the profound weight that Jesus is asking them to carry. But ultimately, if we don't crucify the flesh, as Paul said in today's epistle, then we are not able to put on Christ. Without the death on the cross, there is no resurrection. Without us being willing to have the life of our flesh die, there's no way for us to experience new life in Christ. There's no way for us to be transformed. There's no way for us to be ultimately healed. And nobody wants to die. This is the great sacrifice of it is that we're called to voluntarily do something that nobody wants to do. And this is the great paradox of the Christian life, that it is only in losing our lives, 
our sinful lives in the flesh, our status, possibly our jobs, accepting the persecution that comes with following Christ. It's only in being willing to lose those things that we can lay a hold of the kingdom of God, that we can truly follow Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is not I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. And the only way for the Apostle Paul to say that was with a lot of suffering. It was with shipwrecks. It was with scourgings. It was with being imprisoned. For what? Because if he didn't preach the gospel, he didn't know what to do with himself. It was his absolute calling. And if he didn't do it, he would lose his salvation. So we're challenged by the cross to assess our lives, to begin to try to think like Christians, to begin to try to think like Christians in the sense that life isn't about how comfortable we can make ourselves. Life isn't about who I say I am and how people should treat me. It isn't about my rights or my desires, but that ultimately life is about whatever Jesus Christ wants it to be for me. That I have to lay aside all that stuff. That I have to put my faith in Him. That I have to pursue Him. And by pursuing Him nowadays, we mean dedicating ourselves to the Scriptures, living faithful lives, avoiding sin, being faithful. That in being faithful, that I am promised that I will die. But that in that death, in that death of my existential egoisms, those are big words, in the death of all those things that I consider life to be in the flesh, that somehow I will find salvation, I will find life, I will find healing and transformation, and that only our Lord Jesus Christ can provide this for me as I follow him. So may our Lord bless us to take up this arduous duty of picking up the cross. The very things that he has laid upon us, our own broken personalities and our own problems, and our desire to be more than we are, may he bless us to take that up, to follow him, and to allow him to transform us by his death and resurrection, so that we may be in all senses, not just externally, but internally, we may be crucified with Christ and manifest the life of Christ in our interaction with the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Christ is in our midst. He is in our shadow. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Alexander, her priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren in Christ. Again, we pray for this country, its president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces. memorable holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church and for all our fathers and brethren the orthodox the partless life before us who here in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Salvation.
adoration and meditation for the servants of God, Mike, Sarah, Misty, Nona, Moses, Summer, Anne, Polly, William, Marina, Mary, Columba, Eliza, Kristen, Teresa, Dora, Gary, Esme, Patty, Ray, Bridget, Trey, Paul, Kimberly, Marina, Millie, George, George, and Linnea, and the brethren of this holy temple, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Senor, take Senor, take Senor, take Again we pray thee, O Lord our God, that thou mightest mercifully protect us from all devastating pestilences stirred up against us, and deliver thy faithful people from spiritual and physical death. Grant unto the sick healing and health, and unto all of us thy divine protection and health. We pray thee, O kind-hearted Lord, quickly hearken and have mercy. Again we pray thee that thou mightest pacify the troubles of man and every fearful thing. Compass thy faithful, bow with a firm hope, and instill in our hearts quietude. We pray thee, O merciful Lord, hearken and have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Mankind, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
and ever and unto ages of ages. Beatitude, our Metropolitan Tecon, Archbishop of Washington, and Metropolitan of all America and Canada, His Eminence, Archbishop Alexander, Archbishop of Dallas, and of all the South, may the Lord God remember His kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. This country, its president, all civil authority, and those who are serving in the armed forces around the world. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The founders, benefactors, and beautifiers of this holy house, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. All those names we have commemorated today depart this life. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. May the Lord God remember your priesthood in his kingdom always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages.
that high, we also cry aloud and say, Holy art thou, and all holy thou, and thine only begotten Son, and thy Holy Spirit. Holy art thou, and all holy and magnificent is thy glory, who has so loved thy world as to give thine only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life, who when he had come and fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy, most pure, and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks and blessed and howled it and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Great God, and all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sin. heaven and is sitting at the right hand, and the second in glory is coming, offering unto thee thine own of thine own, on behalf of all and for Safety, honor, health, and length of days. 
rightly to divide the word of thy truth. Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. And in the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with thy
Oh.
peaceful and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee do we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Uh, we have uh, brought extra food, uh, specifically 
um, barbecue uh, and various nutrients. And so please stick around. Uh, we'll also have a church tour, uh, depending on how fast the food goes, um, around 12.30, maybe 12.40. Uh, over here, if you want to learn more about our beautiful architecture and then also just traditional uh, Christian um, temples of, of worship. Uh, so welcome. Uh, this week, there are a few announcements, of course. We'll have our, we'll finish up our book, Arise, O God, at our Tuesday book meeting on Zoom, uh, Tuesday night at 7. On Wednesday, we have uh, Vespers, and we have something new that will be offered, which is after Vespers, around 7 p.m., we're going to have a Bible study. And this Bible study, um, you're welcome to come to either in person uh, if you want to, come after Vespers, or if you want to, you can also come uh, via Zoom. I'm going to see if I can manage it online and in person. Uh, the book that we'll be studying, uh, per my wife's suggestion, uh, so you can thank her, we'll be talking about the end times, about Revelation, um, because that's exciting, right? Um, and uh, so that will start this week at 7 p.m. Uh, via Zoom and also in person. As you remember, we're doing a charity for International Orthodox Christian Charities. Uh, yeah, the charity for the charities. Um, where we're putting together health kits. The list for those health kits is on Realm and also uh, has been sent out, I think, in an email. Um, so if you'd like to donate between now and the first week of October, please do that. You're also welcome always to donate financially to that. Um, and those, that's what's going on with the charity. Is there any uh, further announcements? Father, yes. Women's Book Club will be meeting uh, September 27th. It's a Tuesday instead of a Monday at my house. September 27th. Tuesday, September 27th. So save that on your calendar. Well, that's it. Is, uh, is there anybody celebrating a birthday or a name today? You weren't here last week? Oh, my wife is celebrating her birthday. Come on up. It's her, believe it or not, it's her 25th. <laughs> Still. Grant the Lord a prosperous and peaceful life, our salvation and aging in all things. For the handmaid of God, Preston Sarah Elena, who celebrates her birthday and preserve her Lord for many years. God.